Merle Hagger did us a great favor when he recorded that song because we have had folks from Muskogee say they've visited around the world and people do recognize when you say I'm from Muskogee they'll start singing the song they know it and so uh, we got publicity that we couldn't have paid for through that song. And now Muskogee is being recognized for much more than just the song. The National Trust for Historic Preservation names the town in its 2011 list of America's dozen distinctive destinations. But to get that title, community leaders had to toot their own horn a little. They submitted two videos to the National Trust emphasizing why Muskogee is so unique. The thing that I emphasized to the National Trust was that we were the ending point on the Trail of Tears for many of the Native Americans who were forced to remove from their lands in the southeast to Indian Territory. Uh, the fort was located right across the river from us and that was where they came and gathered. Because of that we attracted a lot of the, the builders of, of the territory to this town. We were on the railroad and they built some great architecture, beautiful homes, beautiful office buildings downtown. And we've worked pretty hard to save those. Jonita Mullins is with Downtown Inc., the nonprofit organization that oversees the Muskogee Main Street program. She says the Muskogee area is a must see for anyone interested in American history. But something many people don't realize is that Muskogee is a main port city right here in Oklahoma. I really kind of try to emphasize the fact that we are located at the confluence of three rivers, the Arkansas, the Grand, and the Verdigree, and that we're also, as a community, kind of a convergence of three cultures, the African American, Native American, and Euro American cultures, and that as those rivers come together and create the Arkansas River, our cultures have come together and created this really beautiful community. I think that caught their eye as well. The 12 cities that were selected can be found on the National Trust website. And starting on Wednesday, people can go online to vote for their favorite destination. But Melinda is also hoping to see more people interested in visiting and seeing firsthand all the Muskogee has to offer. They have been known for their crown jewel, Honor Heights Park and its famous azaleas, but she says there is so much more. We also have some really wonderful museums. We have five museums located here in Muskogee. All of them uh, capture a little bit of the, the piece of our culture and heritage. Then we have the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame and Museum, which captures that Oklahoma music that we're well known for, and the USS Batfish, which is the submarine that's dry birthed here. That's always a startling thing to people that we have a submarine here at this inland port. Uh, and that's a, something that surprises people too, that we are a port community. We can travel to the world from Skokie on the rivers.